everybody video here for you today I was going to do an ancient history news video but I found one story that I just thought I would concentrate on and this is kind of a follow-up to a couple videos I did two three years ago we're gonna go down to El Salvador today this is called the San Andreas site I did a video on this about two and a half years ago and it's right down here here is the main area ruin some of these have been excavated some of them are still covered up by grass and soil and vegetation and there could be some more ruins underneath these trees here but let's go down and take a peek real quick here's a look at the site and there's probably stonework under these mounds here then we have one structure here that has been partially uncovered grass still up on top of it you notice one in the distance right there but let's talk about one of these specifically here is a look at the main pyramid on the site the dating of this place well the standard line, it goes back about 3,000 years, well before the Maya. But they say the Maya vacated this place about 750 years ago because of volcanic eruption. But that volcanic eruption has been pushed at a later time. And one of the pyramids here, well, it's built out of the eruption material. Here is a look at what they call the Campana structure at this archaeological site. This is built on a large base. We will take a look at some LIDAR here in a minute. But this has never really been excavated until recent years, and that's why this new research has come out just in the past four days. I believe this is part of a roof here. Maybe they are doing their excavation work under the roof here, but you can tell it hasn't been excavated before. Here's a story that came out about four days ago. Ancient Mayans built pyramid partly from ash after catastrophic volcanic eruption. There is a map where this place is located. It says prior research has shown that in A.D. 539, the Ilopango volcano erupted in an event known as the Tierra Blanca Joven eruption. And it was a really big one, the largest in Central America over the past 10,000 years and the largest on Earth over the past 7,000 years. The blast was so powerful that it covered the area around the volcano in waist-high ash for 35 kilometers. It also blew itself apart, leaving behind a deep gash that is now a crater lake. Here is Lake Ilopango that was formed by the volcanic eruption. This is about five miles by six miles across or seven by 10 kilometers roughly. Then in the distance here, about 22 miles away, you have the site of San Andres or about 35 kilometers away, but that was a massive volcanic eruption that formed this pretty big sized lake. This story goes into how historians thought it took hundreds of years for the Mayans to return to this area after the volcano, but it says new research says they returned 30 to 80 years after the eruption, and they built a pyramid using the ash, dirt, debris from the volcano, so it had some significance to these people if they built a large structure with the contents or the debris from the volcano. Here is a pic. Or here's a bunch of pics looking at the layers here the tbj is the ash layer from the volcano itself then up above it you have a late classic floor so seems like people were living here for quite a while after the eruption but why would they use the debris from the volcano well it obviously had some sacred significance to them here are a few more pics right in the middle is that tbj fill and that seems to form a perfect layer, so that just wasn't down on the ground Then they built on top of it. That was certainly used for the construction of this place. On the far right, you have cut stones up above the TBJ fill, as they call it. Some stairs on the left, but this was a pretty interesting story. Here's another story I will leave below. A giant volcano didn't stop ancient Maya from taking the ashes and building a pyramid. This is called the Campana structure. It says, about 1,500 years ago, Maya builders crafted a massive pyramid out of rock that had been ejected by a volcano in an eruption that was so powerful it chilled the planet. Scientists recently discovered, and I talked about that volcanic eruption in a video about a site that I believe is mentioned coming up here. Now, when I first took a look at this pic, I was a little confused. This doesn't seem to be set in the main archaeological park. It's not surrounded by grass, so I was a little confused where this was located, but I think I found it right down here. If we zoom in right here, you see a square structure covered by vegetation. It appears to have something right down there, but I believe that is the Campana structure right there. They have some of the same pics from the 
earlier article, they also have LIDAR of the pyramid here. Seems it was built on a large base. It says new analysis of the pyramid located about 25 miles or 40 kilometers from the volcano also revealed that Maya builders mix cut stone blocks and earth with blocks cut from tephra, rock ejected by the volcano. This is the first evidence that volcanic ejecta was used in the construction of a Mayan pyramid. It could also reflect the spiritual significance of volcanoes and the Maya culture. This place is a lot like Santorini. There has been a lot of debate when the volcanic eruption actually happened. Some of the guesses are between 270 and 400 of the current era, but it says, however, recent radiocarbon dating, and that's comparing ratios of radioactive carbon isotopes in tree trunks from El Salvador had hinted that 539 was a more accurate estimate. The Campana Pyramid rests atop a platform that measures nearly 20 feet or six meters high, 262 feet long or 80 meters long, 180 feet wide or 55 meters wide. And the pyramid itself stands about 43 feet tall or 13 meters tall. And it says the dating of that structure has come in between 545 and 570 of the current era. And it suggests that people return to the site much earlier than people had originally thought. Here's a video I did on the San Andres site on April 20th, 2019. Hey, right on. But there are some looks. I believe part of this was reconstructed, but I just thought this had a pretty cool original look. And the fact that a lot of it is still covered up today but there is a look at the Campana structure from that video. A little later in this article, they mentioned Hoya de Serin, and that is the place I mentioned in my video when I talked about the volcano a couple years ago. They call it the Pompeii of the Americas. That place was really close to the volcano and was buried under many, many feet of ash. Here is my video from a year and a half ago, Hoya de Serin, under 10 meters of ash. That is a heck of a lot of ash that was put on this ancient site. Some of you may remember this video. They made, they found a little model of a temple or something down here. But I had scenes from the museum in this video. Certain interesting things they uncovered at this site. Now here's a story that comes from three years ago when some initial findings were done here. I will leave this link below. But here is a look from overhead where they got down, did some excavating, found stairways, other things. There is a little better look. But if they excavated more of the slopes and mounds in this site here, I bet you they would find a lot of stonework under the ground. But there is some looks at the excavation work. They also found animal carvings. Here is a look at some of the artifacts they found, a close-up look at a bowl of some sort, pottery. There is a jade artifact with something carved on it right there. Let's just blow that up a little, see if we can tell what that is. Looks kind of like a face. I'm just not really sure. I just thought this was a good one to do today since I've covered both the volcanic eruption and this ancient site. I always thought it was a little mysterious. A lot of these structures are still covered by grass and vegetation. But the large platform here and the pyramid on top of it, here is what LIDAR shows it to look like underneath the vegetation. And here is what it looks like when they got down, did some excavating that TBJ Asheville, a prominent layer in the construction of this place. That's a video, the pyramid, the volcano, coming from about 1500 years ago, El Salvador. I don't talk about El Salvador much, but there is plenty of history throughout Central America, wherever you go. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.